How's it doing guys and welcome back to the False Tech YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a uh, Twitch Android 8.0 Oreo um, tour for the NVIDIA Shield. This uh, has been out for some people for quite some time. I got it as soon as I made that video on how to get the update a few weeks ago. And I have had a good amount of time playing around and getting to know the UI. I just want to do, make this video now for you guys to have the same confidence that I have. Um, before we begin, I do want to say that I do have custom things on my shield, such as these three here. To get this, you will need to download Sideload Channels. It's $1.49 on the Google Play Store. This allows you to do full customization. I've done a video on this, and I'm going to put a link above for you guys to see that if you want to customize your own shield. All right, so getting to know your shield, this is the home screen. You'll see these categories here, such as what you have here at the bottom. You can click on this customize channels and you can add or remove your channels. And guys, you can do several things with these. For example, I can enable multiple categories for different channel categories that you see here. And there are more to come. So we're going to go over this, the basic uh, general UI here first. And then we're going to make our way into the settings and talk about what has changed. So if you click this apps button up top. This will show you all of your apps that you have installed. Of course, if you have siloed apps, they will not show up here. So if you do have apps that you do not see here, guys, it'll be found under your sideload launcher, such as uh, things you've installed from Aptoid. If you're using Aptoid or a third party app store, you'll find those here. Um, but yes, here's all your apps. It shows your games as well down here. And you can also click on this button to go to the Google Play Store. And you cl click on this to go to the Google Play Store with games focused on games here. And that'll sum up this right here. I'm pressing back. Of course, you still have your, your, talk, your click to speak as well as your microphone on your controller. That works as well. You can type. You got your quick launch settings here. Not much has changed here. Um, the main thing that changed in this update is, and this is a preview, so I don't know if it's permanent. I don't know what the deal is with this, but you can no longer open up the GeForce menu. If you press and hold the buttons now, I'm pressing and holding the circle button on my controller, I get this. I press and hold the back button on my controller, I get that. So there are a lot of differences in this new update. Now, besides this apps here, you do have an add app to favorite. So you can come over here and add as many apps as you would like. That'll be as far as you can customize it without these icons or channels here. Um, so going down, you'll see Play Next. This gives you options to play next as far as games. This is your YouTube recommended. This is what I have on mine at least. Um, if you go to the left of these, you can remove them with that minus button like I just did. Or you can move the category up. So all you do, I'm going to do that again. You just press over, click the button on your controller, the A button, or if you're using the small controller, click the middle button to select and press the up arrow key. And that brings that up. We can bring it back down. And we're going to add YouTube back in there because I, I use that quite a bit. I'm going to bring my recommended back in. Press back back getting back into the settings guys um you have your active mic so you can have your okay google detection on if you go down you can click sleep now that wasn't in the old update you can look at your network settings here display and sound not much here that's changed pretty much everything is the same you can up mix the stereo you can fix volume where it'll be always at 100 percent you come down to system again Everything you can enable this beta OK Google, which will enable OK Google to be utilized when the TV is off. You have your apps, you can uh, disable your apps, uninstall your apps, clear your apps data from here. Same as the old update or old version. Storage and reset, of course, here's where you can reset your um, appliance. You can mount network storage and change any type of storage configuration as well. Screensaver. You can choose how you want your screensaver to go. You can start it now, put it to sleep. All of this is pretty self-explanatory. And then you have your about button that gives you your version as well as your information regarding your shield. 
as you can see there. And of course, I'm not going to go through any more of this, guys. This is pretty self-explanatory. You have your date and time, language, keyboard, home screen. You click customize channels, but it does bring you back to what you see there. You can enable video previews, audio previews. You can reorder your apps, reorder your games, which is just how you do this here. Yeah, there's not, as you can see, there's not much for customization. And that is all you can do really with customization without doing the um, extra step like I did and many others. You got your reorder apps, and then you have your reorder games, which is that section below the apps. That is as far as your customization will go without this, the um, channel, our sideload channel option. But yeah, guys, there's not really much more to go through on this. It's very easy to use, very self-explanatory. The ease of use is definitely a, um, is a downfall to me just because I would love to have that extra customization without having to do an additional purchase. But now that I have, I, I love my Shield again. There was a time when I did the update, I, was, I knew what I was getting myself into, but I still had hopes that it would be a little more than what it was. But yeah, that is the um, tutorial of the new 8.0 update. If you have any questions regarding the update, such as um, how to do things, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this video has helped you understand. Maybe you saw something you didn't know prior, or maybe I gave you the idea of uh, installing these. If so, give me a like, share it out with your friends, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Goodbye.